All right, guys, let's make with some more savagery. This is another episode of the WWE, WWE's Most Savage Insults. Some pretty good ones the first time around. I imagine there'll be some pretty good ones this time. Hey, Wendy, how you doing? Hey, you a promise. Daddy Hold on a second. Was... Hey, Wendy, how you doing? Hey, you a yeah, I needed context on that. Now, a lot of you guys have said, hey, they cut these too quick. You need more context. They cut them so they don't get blocked, so they can stay within fair use. I promise, daddy was coming home. It looks like he's not, but I'll be your new daddy. Wow. All right, that's, again, anytime you go after family, that that's going to be, <laughs> that's going to be a quality cut. But that That's pretty good, Joe. That'll, that'll get the crowd going, oh, and that's what we want. <laughs> okay, that's pretty, that's a good take on it, you know, standing up on the middle turnbuckle so you can actually look down at Paul White. <laughs> that's that's a good angle. Ah, get it? He went up top, angle, okay. I mean, you big overgrown son of a I think you deserve a shot at this. You don't deserve buddy. This time. You know, it's funny too. Brock got uh, Brock got pretty good on the mic when he first came in. Well, Roman, same thing. When they first came in, huh, huh, not quite so much. But I, I like listening to both of them on the mic now. I think Brock's days are done on the mic because of things he was doing off mic. Coming from a man who took a sacred vow of marriage to the biggest slut in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're going to do one. I, I saw a compilation. We will do one of these to um, a compilation of, of Steph getting ripped on. Because, man, she's taken, <laughs> she's put herself through a lot of shit over the years. What the hell are you talking about, man? If you take one step closer, I'll knock your head off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. That's, that's kind of basic stuff there, Finley. But that got, got a little bit of a pop. Okay, a lot happened in 2002. That's the last time you were relevant. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. That's a witty one. I like that. <laughs> Last time you were relevant? Oh, it's a lot longer ago. Oh, wait, I was never relevant. I'm okay. You down like the bitch you are. Oh. That my Not bad. Skills. Look at me when I talk to you, damn it. Oh. I've never... Uh, look at me when I talk to you, damn it's pretty good. Just in the disrespect of the line. So that's that's pretty cool. Never said this out loud, but I wish Eddie was my real father. <laughs> that was good. That was good stuff. I got listen, I gotta give Dom a lot of credit. I was never a big fan of Dom's. I don't know, he just didn't uh it just didn't strike a chord with me. But he has played this heel role so well. Done such a good job with it. And that's, you know, because now you're including s someone that is so well known to the fans and loved by the fans, and now he's gone. And whoo, throw that in there. Me of a younger HBK. This I guess it's always a savage insult when you slap somebody in the face. That's pretty savage. Hey, worth the papers written on you, dumb son of a bitch. If you Why do you get? I, I I do. I mean, I I really enjoy. Um, yeah. Why is his name gone right out of my head? Yeah. Uh, that's the problem with doing videos when you were a professional wrestler forever and have post concussion syndrome. Nothing goes out of your head quicker than nouns. But anyway, that's one of Spaz's kids, Braxton, my son. That's one of his favorites right now. Why is his name gone from me? L.A. Knight. Takes a while. Got a lot of brain damage to swim upstream against. You really wanted to promote your new reality show. Why didn't you bring your daughter Brooke? Carlitos cool, but but Brooke, Brooke is, is hot. Why don't why don't you let Carlito take her out on a date? So why don't? You That's pretty good at going at somebody's daughter. I like Carlito. He um made a bunch of tours through the Indies. You know he's gone from WWE for quite some time. Good dude. Really really cool dude. Yeah. Do you really want to get in line to get squashed in the corner and get your ribs broken? Because that seems to be the case more often than not with Naya. Being all in. 
What was that? Was... So why don't you get in line? And catch all that. Bitch, what line? Being all in. You say your name is Finley and you love to fight. I say your name is Finley and you're a bastard. Wow. Yeah, Bobby. Yeah. I, I, I love him, but, but sometimes his mic works a, a, a little bit on the lackadaisical side, a little bit on the unimpressive side. <laughs> can't, can't fault Lashley for anything else, though. Oh, any any conversations like that get so uncomfortable now when you see Vince involved with them. <laughs> well, for a bunch of reasons. Yikes. Yes, we know who wears the pants in the Smith family. There's some new words to spat. Why too gay? This ain't your day. We the big Why too gay? Eh, that's kind of weak. Dog let his bitches off the leash so <laughs> oh, 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 oh now that one that's my favorite so far that <laughs> that's pretty good leave it to leave it to orton <laughs> the big dog let his bitches off the leash that's a quality one i like i like that let's watch that again the big dog let his bitches off the leash so damn I didn't realize there, there were so often, there was so much uh, gay bashing going on. Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah, I shouldn't say that because when you think back, well, if you go way back in my day when I, when I was first getting started, everything was a stereotype. If you were a, a black dude and you were wrestling, you were going to fit into a certain stereotype. If you, you know, whoever, whoever you were, you were going to have a certain, <laughs> a certain, uh, Gimmick would be given to you by the promoters. It was, I'll, I'll tell you guys stories about that sometime. It was, it's, it's actually comical now in hindsight, and everybody just accepted it. Does belong in the main event at WrestleMania, you arrogant son of a That's it for another Whoa. Of the cutting edge. Tip your waitress on the way out. Thank you very much. I don't like you. you ever Damn, Glenn Jacobs. Even with... Even without, the, I don't know if this is a compliment or not, even without the mask or the makeup or anything like that, he could look pretty creepy when he wanted to. Oh, that's something I think I, I could be quite adept at myself. me one more time, I will knock your block head off your dad body, you dumb son of a bitch. Oh, block head. <laughs> Black head off your dad bot is a good line. All right, LA. That's that's good stuff. I like that one. I will knock your black head off your dad bot, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Uh, we gotta give LA Knight props for that one. That's cool. <laughs> show you, mankind, that I'm not your mommy, I'm not your friend, but believe me, punk. I'm gonna be your daddy. Close up. I I use something. I'll tell you again. It's a story I could tell you. Something I threw at a good friend of mine, a young guy we had brought through the wrestling school. They didn't know what's coming was about being his daddy. This, Mr. Cameraman, do you people up there in Eastern Kentucky, you know what these are? They're all over the place, by the way. Oh, sure food you do. stamps. It's the currency of Eastern Kentucky. It's a food stamp. <laughs> all right, Cardi. That's that's pretty good. That's a, bring the food stamp out. That's. <laughs> All right, that's solid. I'll give him that one. <laughs> Buckwheat? Wow, that's that's rough. Damn. And I was old enough to remember the little rascals. But whenever I hear Buckwheat, I always think back to Eddie Murphy playing him on SNL. No autographs. <laughs> Whoop that trick. By you just standing in the ring, somebody huge crap in my yard. Oh, 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 all right. I like that one, Undertaker. Yeah, we're getting some good ones now. Your next loss is your last. So Fatty Dreamer, why don't you Fatty. do us stand in this Fatty Dreamer. Come on, you guys can be wittier than that. 
Uh, what do we got with Logan here? Why don't you do a stand in this ring and go face to face with Seth Rollins, baby? Bye bye, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I like Seth and that maniacal cackle. I don't know why. There's just just something about it that works for me. I'm sorry. I'm really embarrassed, but who are you? <laughs> <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, way to go, Becky. I like that. That that works. Woof, woof. <laughs> Let me tell you, Vicky was pretty good at times. That whole excuse me thing and everything, she did a good job with that. Gift for you and AJ. Please tell me your gift is you're retiring. Round around. Ah, all right, that's not bad. The single biggest bitch I've ever met. What oh, well, Rhonda, what do you have to say? <laughs> with Michael Jackson today, it's nothing compared to what I got away with when I was making out with your wife behind your back. Sam. Damn, yeah, that was, that was, who was that in the background? That was worth those wide eyes. Way to go. Oh, is that Flair? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 man, that's that's a pretty good one. All right, we, we got some solid ones in there before it was all said and done. If you guys like these, let me know. We'll do more.